So this is one of the R730 servers that I own. And I've taken specially good care of this unit. It contains two NVIDIA P40 GPUs. And today I'm going to demonstrate how to remove these two NVIDIA P40 GPUs from the server so you can build your own setup with them. So you can see both of the NVIDIA P40 GPUs are right here powered by this particular riser cable that is on the side over here. And each of these GPUs has its own dedicated power source from that riser connection. 75 watts of power comes from the PCI slot and the remainder comes from the riser cable over here. Now I'm going to take these P40 GPUs out of this machine. The process is to remove the power cord, but before doing that, notice this particular notch over here, the clasp that holds the GPU in place. To remove it, press the tab at the bottom, pull the clasp out and then just set it aside. Next, unplug the graphics card and carefully pull the P40 GPU out. And make sure that uh, you get everything out nicely and you do not damage the card in the process. There is normally a tab at the corner over here, but I believe mine's broken, so it's missing. I'll show you what it usually looks like when I remove the second card. But this card is out and we'll set this first card aside and move on to the second GPU. The steps are same. You will unplug the power cable first, remove the clasp securing the card, and then slide the graphics card out. You'll see I'm pulling it from the left side, but there is a, a very small tab and let me show you this. So I attempt to pull this a couple of times and then you'll see that there is a small tab on the right side. I have to press it down so that it releases the graphics card. And on the other side, I'll quick show you that this is where the tab is and on the other side you can see where I broke the tab which is why it's not there now. All right, now that we have the second P40 out as well, so both are ready for the next system. And we'll keep these two P40s on the side. But first, you know what, let's take a look at the server without the GPUs. Both P40 slots are empty, leaving the server bare. We'll put these P40 cards into a standalone machine now. Now, looking um, at these P40 graphics cards, you'll notice they have no built-in fans. They are made for server-grade environments, which push the air across the cards and let me show you i'll i'll uh, tilt this card over here so we can take a look inside so these cards are made for the server grade environment and this is where the air pushes out and in a regular setup we have to replicate this kind of cooling um, and it is very easy for the server to push this air in and out of the graphics card. However, for us to do this and take these cards out, I have a 3D printed structure that holds a 140 mm fan on one side and these two um, slots that you see over here, these two slots fit in our P40 cards to direct the airflow through and out of the other side. So I'll put the link to this 3D print design in the description so you can print it as well. And this is what we'll attach to our GPUs and uh, we will also attach another power card in order to power these cards. And this 
It uses a standard PCI connector that splits into two 8-pin connections on one side. And then it connects to P40 on the other side. And both cables are exactly the same. And then after hooking them up, we'll fit the shroud on. So notice it is uh, notched on one side for the wires, the shroud, that uh, once we plug it in, you will see that. And these, these two cables look exactly the same. And what I'll do is now uh, take these two cards, uh, put them on top of each other, and then plug it into this particular shroud over here. All right, so this actually is custom built such that you can have both P40 GPUs connected together with this 3D printed design. And you will see that the wires come out neatly and there, that is all that's left uh, over here. Uh, and we can now mount our 140mm fan, industrial grade Noctua fan, to push plenty of air through this shroud and through the GPU. Okay, here is the near final setup. A 1200 watt power supply, a Ryzen Threadripper 1920X processor, and a MSI X399 Gaming Pro Carbon motherboard. This provides enough PCI lanes for two P40s and ample power up to 270 watt each, plus a four pin header for AIO cooler, which will be connected to our Noctua fan. We also have uh, NVMe SSDs, which I will show you. I have a 3D printed a very nice, pretty container where I keep all of my NVMe SSDs. And in this case, um, I'm also going to be using a 1080 Ti graphics card, but let me show you my uh, NVMe SSDs over here. And this is, I have a four of them in this nice container. And if you are interested, I can leave a link for this uh, SSD case also for you to 3D print. And one of these SSDs I'm going to be installing on that uh, NVMe slot. However, uh, I will also be putting a 1080 Ti. And as you can see, this motherboard doesn't have an onboard video. And this 1080 Ti card will be used to install the operating system so that we can have some visual output over here. And afterwards, I may remove it and run everything headless. And uh, of course, uh, this card is not needed. It's an overkill. We already have 48 gigs of VRAM with two P40 GPUs. So I think we, we should be all right without having a 1080 Ti on top of those two GPUs. All right. So in total, we have uh, a ton of PCI lanes over here and we can use a fast Gen 4 NVMe SSD with a heatsink that goes on top. And once all of this is mounted, so let me uh, screw the last piece of this SSD in. And then once all of this is mounted, then we can place the 1080 Ti on top of the NVMe SSD, and then we'll be ready to wire everything up. So let's have a final look. Uh, our NVMe SSD is in, 1080 Ti is in, two P40 GPUs are over there, and everything is looking just gorgeous. So um, we now have a total of six, 8-pin PCI connectors, right? So we have two for each P40s, two for the 1080 Ti, plus the usual CPU, motherboard, um, and, and the power connections that we usually do for CPU and motherboard. And after that, we can power it all on. And I already have a USB drive with Ubuntu on it. Uh, and I'm going to do uh, a fresh install of Ubuntu. So uh, you may need to um, build your own 
Ubuntu install drive. I use 2204 for all of my um, Linux server builds because this is one of the most stable machine that I have. And as you can see that my desk over here has a perfect notch for all the graphics cards to be slotted in. This is my desk plus my machine, my <laughs> server and everything all in one so it gives me an easy access all right so now i'm going to be installing ubuntu and uh, i will open some of the tools so that i can show you so i'll come back once the ubuntu is completely installed on this particular machine all right ubuntu is done installing and you can see that i will uh, get certain things open so let me first open nvidia smi and i can I'll open it in the watch mode so you can see there are the two P40 graphics cards and they are maxed out at 250 watts of power. So I stand corrected. It is not 270, but 250. And then we also have our 1080 Ti at the bottom as a third graphics card, which is what is actually outputting graphics over here. And I'll open another terminal to run a large language model. And let's run a 70 billion parameter model and the best option over here is to run DeepSeek R1 model, right? And in a, in a verbose mode, and we'll do a distilled version of DeepSeek R1. Uh, you can see that even though I pulled the model, it took just a few seconds because I've already pulled it, it's already on my desk, and we are gonna run it in the verbose mode now so that you can see how the model performs. Now, in my previous videos, you have already seen that um, on our 730 server with two P40s, I get roughly around five tokens per second on this particular setup. And here I'm getting slightly lower tokens per second as you will see, right? So uh, this is around three tokens per second instead of five. This is not ideal, but there may be some tweak that I need to do for the PCI settings on those last two slots, uh, but that's the performance that I'm getting right now. Anyways, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.